up with this? Yeah, he doesn't look the most focused, does he, Ronnie? Sat in his chair, to be fair, but a lot of the times he can look disinterested and then just turn it on when he gets to the table. So you can't really say up for it. Ronnie into. Now that's the kind of mystery shot that sometimes Six. Couldn't disguise surprise at that. Thirty. Fourteen. Just looking to see if there's a red that's close to the bunch available to, to right corner. to play that now because it possibly would bring a couple of reds into play and still be on the black. 22. Watching there, he had the obvious red, but he played for the one that was going to develop one or two others. So you're thinking ahead on your break building. 29. 30. Guaranteed to bring everything into play, but you'll probably play for single reds. It does break build different to what he used to. It's much more measured to the pack now, as quickly as he used to. 38. Relies on his unbelievable cue ball control. This time he did decide it was the right time, and it's absolutely perfectly played. Maybe a little bit awkward, but the way the reds are, it's, I think he'll end up playing this one, if I'm honest. And obviously, the spider was no distraction. 46. walking quite gingerly around the table, Phil, do you think? Obviously, we know he does a lot of running. Maybe I've picked up an inch. With the more land around here, some lovely spaces to go and run in. 53. Both of them running through these racks, aren't they? Pot that sixty eight, sixty nine. In that interview with Rob Walker before the match, Rob Milkins described Ronnie O'Sullivan as the, the greatest player ever. Easy, but I think you're right about his movement. Six. Overhead by a long way. 77. 
Let's see the most difficult pops into blind pockets. That was it's like an exhibition match, this latest one has started off with these two players. Only also the 82 Breaking down and the in front. the 80s as Rob Milkins did only opening frame. Very attractive stuff from Bay 